Okay, here's another question on vectors and uh, we are told that we've got a line L1 and it passes through points A and B and A and B are these points in space here and we're asked to find the vector equation of the line L1 nice and easy. Then we're told here's a line L2 which has a point on the line as follows and the direction of the line as follows, so that's a point and that's a direction. The point C lies on L2 and is such that AC is perpendicular to BC. Show one possible vector of C is this, find the other. Assuming C has this position vector here, uh, find the area of the triangle ABC, give your answer in the form K root 5. All right, let's give this a go. Quick uh, picture here. Here's a, a line and we know that's line L1. I'm going to draw it like that. That's point A. That's point B. Point A is negative 3, 3, 2. Point B has position vector 7, negative 1, and 12. And uh, with respect to the origin that's over here somewhere, find the vector equation of the line. Well, firstly, we've got to find the direction the line's going in. And the direction from A to B is going to be 7, negative 1, and 12. Subtract negative 3, 3, and 2, which is going to be equal to 10, negative 4, and 10. Okay, so we can say uh, with safety um, that therefore the direction of the line is a point on the line plus the direction of the line. So R could be equal to the point on the line which is negative 3, 3, 2, plus uh, uh, some lots of the direction of the line, which is negative 10, negative 4, 10. So, like that. Now, just notice that all of this could be divided by 2. So actually, a direction, a simpler direction of the line, would be easier to write here as 5, negative 2, and 5. Okay, because this is two lots of that, and because we're multiplying by lambda anyway, so you can have it like that just to make your algebra simpler. And in a combined form, you might write that as negative 3 plus 5 lambda, 3 subtract 2 lambda, and 2 plus 5 lambda. And that's the vector equation of line L1. Okay, then we have line L2, and line L2, I'm going to draw a quick picture of. Uh, of line L2. Line L2 uh, has a point on the line that we know here which is 0, 5 and negative 7 and the direction of the line is going in, it's going in the direction 1, negative 2 and 7. Okay, The point C lies on L2 such that AC is perpendicular to BC. So I'm going to have to go back to this picture here. Uh, AC is perpendicular to BC sorry, AC is perpendicular to BC. So C is on L2 such that AC is perpendicular to BC. So let's say C is here and let's have another line here as follows. This is our other line which I'm going to call L2 and uh, it's at 0, 5, negative 7 so it's 0, uh, 5, negative 7 and then it's plus mu lots of 1, negative 2, 7. So plus mu, lot, plus mu lots of 1, negative 2, 7. So that's the equation of that line. And we had the equation of this line here, which is negative 3 plus 5 lambda, uh, 3 subtract 2 lambda, and 2 plus 5 lambda. Now, uh, C is a point on the line such that AC and BC are perpendicular. So these two must meet at a right angle like that. And the vector AC is perpendicular to CB. Okay, now. Clearly, um, uh, C is any point on this line. So C can be written as the following. So it can be written as a 0 plus mu, 5 subtract 2 mu, and 2, uh, sorry, negative 7 plus 7 mu, it can be written like that. So if we find the, the vector uh, AC, let's find the vector uh, AC, so oh, this vector here, let's find that vector there. That vector 
is going to be that vector, take away that vector. So negative 3, take away this, would be negative 3, subtract mu. 3, take away this, would be negative 2, subtract 2 mu. And 2, take away this, uh, would be equal to 2, subtract negative 7. It would be 9, subtract 7 mu. Now let's find this vector here. This vector, take away this vector, the vector BC. It would be 7, take away this, so it would be 7, take away mu. It would be negative 1, take away this, and so it would be negative 6 uh, plus 2 mu. Sorry, I should have had a plus 2 mu in here when I did that, take away that. And lastly, 12, take away this, which would end up being like 12 plus this, would be 19, subtract 7 mu. Now, for these two vectors to, uh, to be at right angles, they must dot to be equal to zero. So for part B, I'm doing part B on this page, uh, these two dot, so if I dotted negative three, subtract mu, with negative two plus two mu, with nine, subtract seven mu, and I dotted that with uh, seven take away mu, negative six plus two mu, and 19, subtract seven mu, it must dot to be zero because they're at right angles. So multiplying these out, uh, negative three subtract mu, seven subtract mu, plus negative two plus two mu, negative six plus two mu, plus nine subtract seven mu, and 19 subtract seven mu, that would be equal to zero. So now it's just an algebra game and us multiplying out. That times that is negative 21, and we're going to have plus 3 mu, subtract 7 mu, so we're going to have subtract 4 mu, and then we're going to have plus mu squared. Here we're going to have plus 12, subtract 4 mu, uh, and then subtract 12 mu, so it's going to be subtract 16 mu, and that multiplied by that is 4 mu squared. Uh, this times this, 9 times 19 is 100, so, uh, 171. We're going to have 9 times 7, negative 63 mu, and then take off another 7 times 19. We're going to get for this negative 196 mu, and that times that is plus 49 mu squared. And all of that is equal to zero. So the algebra is already getting pretty hairy here. Um, how many mu squares have we got? Well, we've got 49, add another 4, add another 1. So I make that. 54 mu squareds. How many mu's have we got? We've got negative 4, take away another 16, so negative 20, take away 196. So we're going to get ourselves 216. So subtract 216 mu. And how many numbers have we got? Well, we've got negative 21, add 12, add 171. So negative 21, add 12, add 171 is going to be plus 162. So we've got plus 162 equals 0. Now does anything go into it? If we divide everything through by 54, I get mu squared. 216 divided by 54 is 4. Subtract 4 mu. And 162 divided by 54 is 3 plus 3. Thankfully, it looks like it's going to factorize. So that's mu subtract 3 mu uh, subtract 1 is 0. So on the one hand, mu is 1. On the other hand, mu is 3. Now, if mu did equal 1, I could sub it back in. Uh, could sub it back in. It asks for, uh, for C. I could sub it back in here, and I would get 1, 3, and 0 which is what they were looking for in that part of the question. And if I sub mu is 3 here, I would get 3, negative 1, and 14. Okay, so I've actually gone ahead and answered. There's one position point for part uh, C, which I've answered. Then I've said, assuming, uh, oh, right, and I actually found the other, sorry, and I found the other. And now it says, find the area of the triangle ABC in the form K root 5. Now, if this is actually the point 1, sorry, my apologies, 1, 3, 
and 0, they want to find the area of this triangle. Now I'm going to rub, uh, rub this stuff out here now. I'm finding in the last part the area of this triangle. Now all I need for the area is the base and the height. It's the half the base times the height. That's going to be my base. That's going to be my perpendicular height. All I need is these. Now I know, um, I know for this that mu is equal to one. So this, the length of this line here, this position between here and here is negative four, zero, and two. And this one here, the length of this, putting mu is one, is six, negative four, and 12. So the length of this line is therefore the square root of negative, keep the half there, sorry, the length of this one here, the, my fault, sorry, hold on. The base is the square root of six squared plus negative four squared plus uh, 12 squared, which is going to be equal to So we're going to have 36 plus 16 plus 144, which if I square root it, I get 14. And the length of this height is going to be the square root of negative uh, 4 squared plus 0 squared plus 2 squared, which is the square root of 20. And the square root of 20 is actually 2 root 5. So I get 2 root 5. And therefore, the area is equal to a half times 14 times 2 root 5. Half times 14 is 7. 7 times 2 root 5 is 14 root 5. And it was given in the form asked in the question.